Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at creating a new sprite by drawing it uh, using the, the the drawing tools that are built into Scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Scratch Cat, and we're going to create a new one. This time, instead of going to select one from the library, we're going to actually go into the paint tool and create one from the very beginning. So you'll see on the left-hand side here a series of tools. We'll use most of these today. Um, you'll see the color selection and the border selection for any objects that we create, and then all the tools to manipulate whatever shapes we bring onto the screen. Uh, this sprite by default is named Sprite 1. You can rename those sprites as you need to to help identify them in your project. And this is costume 1 of this sprite. There are, uh, there's an ability to make as many costumes as you want, really. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to make, we'll make at least two today. And I'll show you how to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and select a color. And um, I'm going to start with something more on the red spectrum. I would like it to be really a deep red and uh, not too dark. All right, and I'm going to give it a border. Right now, this shows me a black border, and that's really good for what I want. And this shows me how thick that border should be, and four is a good, a good size for the, the object that I want to create. So I'm going to come in to the circle tool, and I'm going to just click and drag and make a circle. And I'm going to put it relatively in the center. Uh, you know, as you notice here in your grid, there's a center mark. And you, you do want to make your sprite um, in the center of your uh, drawing because it's going to help when you actually go to code this uh, sprite. So once I get in there, a couple things I want you to notice. I started with this... Um, a pointer mode is what gets me to be able to move around a sprite and also to resize it from one of these handles here and to rotate it like this, okay? But if you go into the points tool, this allows you to actually take the actual points and not only manipulate them like this, um, but add new points to your project. So for example, if I wanted to do something like this, I could actually make it a, a entirely different shape than what was originally anticipated okay and uh, let's see how that looks I'm gonna click away from there and that looks okay I'm gonna actually make my border a little bit even more pronounced something like that okay and I might come in and I'm going to create a another circle and I'm gonna put this one here I'm gonna give this a somewhat of a more uh, boxy shape like this all right, and I'm going to move this over here, and I'm going to put this in the back. I want this behind my uh, my an, an initial original shape. All right, I'm going to come back over here, grab another circle. This time I'm going to make it more of a uh, oval shape here, and this time I want it to be white. So I'm going to come over to like this this kind of area here. And it's not completely white. This is perfect, a kind of a grayish color a little bit. That's like that. Uh, I'm going to bring it down here. Whoops, sorry. That was an accident. could always undo up there. I wanted to grab my pointer tool. And I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to add some points to this front object here. And now using those points, I'm going to move them around a little bit. Something like that. All right, so my my sprite's starting to take shape. And I suspect you already have an idea of what I'm drawing. All right, and then I'm going to go in. The other thing you could do is um, you can take any existing shape, and you can, uh, as long as you're in pointer mode, you can copy that shape, and you can paste it to give you another copy. And now I might take this one, and I'm going to get rid of my border, and I'm going to make sure that this one is uh, absolutely white. All right. And now I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And I'm going to move it over here. Maybe make it a little smaller. And that gives me the look I'm looking for. Right. I could even take this one and make a copy of it and paste it. And I will make this a little bit lighter shade of red. I will take away the border uh, right there. 
And we'll move this down. And I think maybe something like that. Bring this in, bring this in. And now this one's sitting above what I want it to do, so I'm going to have to push it backward in my levels of where, the layers of where I want things to preside. So, all right. Um, gonna, I'm missing a couple of, of legs here, so I'm going to come back into this shape, and I'm going to add a couple of more, let's see, like that. Maybe bring those down. Maybe bring it across like that. Okay, so we're we're getting there. Maybe not exactly as I was looking for, but you know, pretty good. Uh, something like that. You can even get rid of these if you want. I'm gonna leave them because I need these for uh, another, you'll see in just a minute why I wanna use those. But uh, for now, that's a, a decent look at uh, an Among Us character. Okay, and now uh, I'm gonna zoom out so I can see it, how it looks, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm also gonna go grab the whole thing. I'm gonna go into my pointer mode. Mo pointer mode. I'm gonna grab the whole thing and I'm gonna make sure that I'm centered pretty much where that little crosshair is in the middle. And that looks that looks pretty good. All right, so that's costume one. If I wanted to make this uh, this actual character move around, I'm gonna to wanna to animate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this. And now with my points tool, I'm gonna take the bottom points here and I'm going to move them like this. Now, this may not be how he really moves or how she really moves in a, a game, but to give you the illusion of what it's like to make them move, I'm going to adjust them like this so that we have two different looks. Okay? <laughs> All right. And let's put this back in. Let's take a look at the code. And by the way, he's... he's this, this character is kind of big, so I'm going to take the whole thing. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Again, make sure it's in the middle. Um, and I'm going to go back to my code. And let's see. I want it to, when I click the green flag, I would like this to uh, start walking. And I want to do it forever. So I'm going to go into my controls, and I'm going to say forever. I want you to move 10 steps. Okay, and if we just tried that, he would disappear. So that's not good. So I'm going to need to make sure he comes back. So I'm going to say, when you start up, go to zero, zero, and then move forever. But let's do this. Still leaves, right? So the one thing I have to make sure is that if you're on an edge, you're going to want to bounce meaning you're going to want to bounce off of that edge. Let's see what that does. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, the problem is he or she is uh, turning around upside down. And so there's a way to prevent that using this block here, which is set rotation style to be left and right, not, uh, not in a circle. There we go. Now, I made two costumes, and so I would want this to actually show the walking motions. And so I'm going to go to my looks, and I'm going to say next costume every time I move 10 steps. Let's see what that does. Oh, mistake. I resized this costume, but I didn't resize this costume. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of let's see how those two look. This one's still too big. Probably should have resized before I made my two costumes, but... Okay, that one's still a little big. I'm going to make it a little smaller. That looks pretty good. All right, let's see how that looks. <laughs> All right, there we go. And so the little Among Us character is moving around on the screen. Um, he doesn't have a background, so I'm going to go into my backgrounds. And I believe there was something called Spaceship or something. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That one's good. And now as I play it, notice that he is um, not maybe at the level that I want the character to be. So I can lower this level. I want to show you something. If I go to motion, and if I go to lower this character, 
the the go to x y changes as I move up or down. So I can see, and I can also see here where that is. So I could just type in y is negative 36. So I can just type in here negative 36. And what that does is that ensures me that every time this project starts, the character will go to 0 on the x-axis and negative 36 on the y-axis. And there we go. And maybe I don't want it to go quite so fast, so I'm going to go move 5 at a time. Let's see what that looks like. All right, um, pretty easy, straightforward uh, way to code a character to walk back and forth on the screen. And that's it for character development.